So are you still hoping to score maybe some last-minute tickets to the Super Bowl? CBS 5 advocate Dave Cherry here to tell us that that's probably going to involve ticket scalpers, Dave, so folks got to be careful. That's exactly right, Adam. Some people think or maybe they're hoping that prices will drop as we get closer to Sunday. But you know what? That is not likely, not at least until well after the game actually starts. Super Bowl tickets are selling right now anywhere from four to $10,000. If you keep waiting, scalpers will end up being your only option, and that's always a very dicey proposition. Glendale Police has some basic guidelines. The law that we have simply only uh, dictates where those tickets can be resold. We don't restrict uh, anything as far as prices charged or agreements made between parties. Now, scalpers can charge whatever they want, but Glendale does restrict where they can do business. There is a designated ticket resale zone, or corral, where scalpers must stay. It's on the north side of Maryland Avenue at Sunrise Boulevard. It's that little yellow uh, rectangle that you see right there on your map. It'll be clearly visible to buyers and sellers who are out there on Sunday. Selling anywhere outside that zone is illegal, so there's going to be a lot of cash changing hands, so be careful. Well, the biggest thing that I would encourage people to remember is if it seems too good to be true, then it probably is. An example would be a, a Super Bowl ticket for less than face value might cause some concern for somebody. Yeah, you're not going to be seeing that out there. As you can imagine, officers will be everywhere, and Glendale PD says it hasn't yet had a case of anyone trying to sell fake tickets. But if you're there on Sunday and you learn that a scammer did it to you, find an officer immediately, and they will try to help you. But remember, it's always buyer beware.